Hey everyone, I'm here with David Wright. Uh, David is a personal trainer, a coach at uh, Fitness for 10 in Carson City, Nevada, and he is in our studio there. So thanks for being here, David. Thanks for having me, Steve. All right. So um, this is a big topic and you have so many opinions on this. I mean, I'm not, I don't mean you, I mean, everybody does have, they just so many opinions. I know what I was taught in school back in the eighties about sup to supplement or not to supplement. Um, but I bet, is this something that your clients ask a lot? Do I need supplements? And if I do, which ones do I need? Is that something you get a lot? I, I do get that. I get kind of opposites of, you know, what supplements do I need? And I want to go out and buy all these things. And then you have the opposite side, which is, I don't want to take anything. You know, does it, do I have to take things, you know, creatine, protein powder, whatever the supplement might be. Do I have to take all these different things I've heard on the internet in order to get healthy, gain muscle, lose weight, whatever their, their particular goal is. So I kind of get both sides of that spectrum. Well, I have a huge opinion on this. Um, and it's, it's kind of changed over time. You know, I was taught in school that supplements are a waste of money, get everything through your food. But I think that food is depleted. The soils are depleted and there is not an, and depending on the person, again, everyone's different. And yes, there's a, daily recommended amount for each, you know, vitamin, mineral, protein, all that stuff, but everyone's different. So I'm a big, I'm a supplement guy. I take lots of supplements, but where I've changed is I've tried to move over to all naturally occurring supplements, you know, vitamins and minerals that occur naturally in food instead of synthetic supplements like a synthetic vitamin A or a synthetic B complex. I get my vitamins now through companies that put the vitamins in their product from whole food sources. And you know what? That has made a big difference for me with my liver enzymes, my liver enzymes were high. When I switched over to getting rid of all these synthetic supplements, my liver enzymes dropped right down where they're supposed to be. Now, that's one, one reason. I mean, there's other things that I did to get my liver enzymes down, but that's a whole different story. So um, I'll keep going on this, but I want to let you in here. What are your personal views on supplements? So a lot of times, you know, my general guidance for most people is, of course, we want to make sure uh, that people understand it is really important to try to get, you know, as much nutrients as they can out of their foods. And how do we do that? Of course, we'd have to eat, you know, clean foods. We'd have to eat, you know, the best foods that we can that are available to us in order to, you know, even extract that, you know, vitamins and minerals that are in the food. Um, so that's number one. As I go over nutrition with them as a certified nutrition coach, um, you know, trying to make sure everybody understands that, you know, it's, it's great to get, you know, your nutrients as much as we can through the whole food sources. So not just saying because, you know, a, a fast food meal might say it has a little bit of this or a little bit of that in it that, hey, that's the same as eating something I made at home and, and that kind of stuff. It's absolutely not. Um, so first thing is getting kind of their, their diet and nutrition portion in check and understanding that. But then the second part for, you know, actual supplements that I let people know, depending again, what their goal is, I'll kind of look at different supplements that they may or may not need, um, you know, from my perspective. So um, some folks, if they're really wanting to do things, I had some people who were training for a marathon, actually, I think it was a half marathon, you know, so there's going to be more in, um, intense training involved there and different things like that, spending more time here in the gym. When you start doing those types of things and you're going kind of above and beyond your everyday uh, moving around, you know, daily life activities, when you're doing stuff like coming to the gym, 
you're going to deplete, to your point, Steve, the foods that we do eat, even if you eat great and clean and pretty healthy, um, a lot of those foods that we eat, they don't quite have as much nutrients as they might have had at one point. And so, you know, supplementing those types of things is not a bad idea. So I always tell clients, you know, let's, let's have you supplement, depending again, what their, you know, goals are and kind of where I see them going. Um, different things for different clients, but I always tell them not to be afraid of supplements. Um, people have, there's a big one on the internet, Steve, and I'm sure you've seen this probably for years now. Um, like with creatine as a perfect example of what's creatine and how dangerous is it and all these other things. There's so many, I could go on for days probably just on creatine, but it's a really important part of that toolkit in, in muscle growth, muscle recovery, really doing those things. And it's, and it's something that's been shown as being very, very safe for years, but there's so much things. So that's where like misinformation and myths come out. So I'm glad when my clients ask me that question. And when we go over that, even in the beginning intro sessions that they get here at Fitness for 10 for free for their membership, you know, I go over that kind of stuff at the beginning, not necessarily creatine, but, you know, supplementation and kind of what that looks like. So then it, it kind of breaks down the barrier. Now, I'm not going to say they absolutely have to have X, Y, and Z, but we do go over the benefits of, you know, supplementing what we eat. And that's the important part that people, we say supplements, but then people don't really stop and think, what is a supplement? It's supplementing what you're already getting from your food. So in other words, addition to what you're getting. And so I, I kind of explain to them that this is going to give you additional, you know, vitamins, minerals, whatever the case might be. Um, so that way you, you know, can continue on this health journey. Um, and get what you need so your body's not starved of any of those particular nutrients because it's really important. And I agree with you that, um, you know, making sure you're getting supplements from somewhere that provides quality supplements because there's so many on the market that are just not good and they might claim all sorts of great things. And unfortunately, it's not well regulated, if at all. And so you really have to do your research as far as some of the more trusted brands and stuff because. You know, people take all sorts of supplements and go, man, this stuff's not working and it's expensive and all that. And it's because it's just not a quality product. And if they got a quality product, you know, from whole food sources and things like that, they'd see a difference. And so you've got to kind of be careful of where you get the products from. Yeah, of course they don't work. I don't mean all supplements, but let me just give you a couple things that I go by everyone out there listening that this is my opinion, but I think this is this has been very wise advice for me to take this advice for me my opinion i never take formula supplements so that means a formula that's for your pre workout where it's got five things in it uh or maybe it's a uh, a formula for your prostate health and it's got five or six things in it. Or maybe it's a formula to increase your testosterone. Complete joke, in my opinion. And especially if that formula says it's proprietary, we're not going to tell you how much of what we're putting in here is in it. Here's why I never take that. They're not putting enough of anything in it. They may put um, chromium picolinate in there and they put two milligrams. And then they tout all the benefits of chromium picolinate. Well, you didn't put any in there. <laughs> you know, you put, yeah. you, you put this much in there and now you're saying what, that's why it doesn't work. That's why I don't take formulas. And especially if it says proprietary and they're not telling you how much is in there. Never. That's me. Now, creatine, creatine monohydrate. What a staple. Mm -hmm. Everyone should be taking that. Lifting weights, not lifting weights, going for walks, not going for walks, fat, skinny, female, male. In my opinion, everyone should be taking that. It's good for so many things in your body. Cognitive. Mm -hmm. Um energy and it's i've i've been told it's the most studied supplement on the face of the earth so yeah there's certain things like that and you know 
keep it simple, creatine monohydrate. There's lots out there, but try one that you like. And, uh, but that's, I just wanted to mention, and that's definitely something I don't do. I don't take formula supplements. Now I'll look on the bottle. I'm not going to buy it, but I'll look on the bottle and say, okay, this has lycopene in it. Uh, this is for, and it's got a bunch of other stuff in it and it's for maybe prostate health. Okay. So I take lycopene, but I take it separately, a quality supplement. And uh, look, a, lo a lot of these testosterone boosters that, um, and I'm talking from my own experience, you know, doing this for 45 years, these testosterone boosters formulas, I have never seen one that's not a complete joke, a complete yeah. joke. I've never seen one. Now, if you're taking this and you're going, wow, I'm getting so big, I'm getting so strong. Well, that's probably a placebo effect. And you know what? If you're getting a great placebo effect, it's, it's working. So who cares if it's all in your head? <laughs> but I've never seen one that's worth a penny when it, it comes to those types of things. Same thing, pre-workout drinks. I will look at the pre-workout drink and the formula and see what's in it. What's going to be in it? Well, citrulline for one. I take citrulline before my workout. And But all of my supplements, I try to get them first through a company that draws or extracts the vitamins and minerals out of whole food sources. So it's not, in other words, it's not a synthetic um supplement. And that's made a big difference for me. And I believe for my health, because it's just like getting your vitamin D or your vitamin A from food sources and it, vitamin A just brought that up. Okay. What is that's in cod liver oil that's in, um, different greens and so on. So, um, you got to really research this uh, talk to people who have done this. If you guys have any questions for me, put them in the comment section. Um, I'll tell you what I do, or David can tell you what he does. So if you have questions, put them in the comment section. You know, we always like to hear that or supplements that work for you. Um, and, you know, some of these pre-workout drinks, you'll feel something, but you're going to feel more, in my opinion, if you get those ingredients separately. Yeah, and I would agree with that, Stephen. I think um, especially, you know, just to, to piggyback on what you said about the proprietary blends, that's on the majority of things that are out there, a lot of these products, and you're right. It's generally because they want to say we have all these great products and they can say that because they put, you know, this much in there. In the whole, the whole jar, they got this much of whatever it is so they can technically say, got all this great chromium in here. Wonderful. Well, good luck getting any of it because I've only got that much, but I can say that it's in there now. And so you have the proprietary blends and it says oh, it's four grams, but it's got 19 things in it. Well, even if it did tell us how much, it's probably not enough to even bother reading at that point. So yeah, you've got to really be careful on on some of these things that you know, our proprietary blends, it's, you know, leads you to the question of why don't they want to tell you how much <laughs> is in there? Right. What's really the big secret. So yeah. Yeah. And the that. last thing I'll say is even though I'm a big supplement guy, I will say there is a lot of garbage out there. There is a lot of garbage and you see fitness influencers peddling just crap, <laughs> you know, yep. I mean, and these people are models, you know, these people have a certain type of body. And if you take the supplement that they're taking, I'm sorry, I don't want to discourage anyone out there, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say, it's not going to make you look like this model that's selling you some stupid supplement. <laughs> yeah, I agree on that one, Steve. Okay, so David, if people want to follow you, see what's going on with your shows, your contests, all that stuff, or just get tips, um, where do they follow you on social media? So you can follow me on Instagram. I have my personal page that kind of goes over my contest prep and you know different uh, before and after kind of transformation photos as well. That's on Instagram at David Wright underscore fitness, and then my 
personal training page, go over training tips, boot camp, things like that here for Fitness for 10 uh, at Right Fitness Training. So you can follow me on both of those. Okay. Thanks for being with us, David. We'll see you next time. Thanks, Steve.